This video, I'm gonna show you how to talk about what we call our measures of position. And in particular, we're gonna talk about quartiles. Word quartiles, you think of quarters. Quarters are going to our quartiles themselves split an ordered data set into four equal parts. That's all it's doing, splitting, a, uh, splitting an ordered data set into four equal parts. So from smallest to greatest, I wanna split it into four even parts. And because I'm splitting it into four even parts, I'm gonna put 25% in each part. Now, the best thing about a quartile and we can look at one actually right here in this particular graph, which is called a box and whisker plot. In a box and whisker plot, there are there is from the lowest observation, known as the minimum, that's what we call our minimum, to the first quartile. This is called the first quartile, also known as Q1, or the lower quartile. There is 25% of the data here. Then from Q1 to the second quartile, and notice the second quartile is something we already know, that's called the median. The median, there is 25% of the data inside of there as well. Then from the median to Q3, Q3 is called the upper quartile. There is 25% inside of there as well. And then from Q3 to the max, there is also 25% inside of there. So if we know these five numbers, the minimum, Q1, the median, Q3, and the max, we get what is known as the five number summary. The five number summary is made up of the minimum, Q1, the median, Q3, and the max. And it can tell us the position of our data. And the nice thing about position is that positions, remember, just like the median, are resistant to change or they're resistant to extreme values. So your position won't shift a whole lot. So when we start talking about skewed data sets, we're gonna focus on our positional measures to talk about, these are called spread measures. So when we talk about our skewed data sets, we wanna talk about the positional measures, all right? So let's look at the example here. In this example, the following scores are a sample of test scores on the first test in this class. Find the standard deviation for the test scores. I don't wanna find a standard deviation. I actually wanna find the five number summary here. Let's find the five number summary here. Because I wanna know what are the actual quartiles. And if I actually for quartiles, I'm really actually gonna find the five number summary. So because the data set's already ordered for me, it's already ordered from least to greatest, I know that the min value already is 43 and the max value is 96. So I know two numbers in the five number summary. The min is 43, the max is 96. I need to get the other five, the other three numbers. And those are gonna come from the quartiles. So to find a quartile, understand this. Q1 is the lower quartile. Q1 is what we call our lower quartile. What that means is it is the median. It's the median of the lower half of the data. So Q1 is the median of the lower half of data, while Q3 is equal to the upper quartile. And it is the, it is the median for the upper half of the data. So it's the median for the upper half of the data. So all we're doing is we're finding a bunch of medians now. In order to do that, so here's what we start. Our first step is to find the actual median of this data. So we wanna find the actual median for this data set. So to find the median, remember, there are 18 values here. That means it's an even data set. So to find the median, we're going to do 18 divided by two, and we get nine. When we have an odd number, an even number like this, we take that observation and the one that follows. So we'll look at the ninth and 10th values. So in our data set, here's the ninth observation and here's the 10th observation. The median is gonna sit between those. So I'm gonna do 77 plus 80 divided by two. And when I do that, I get a median of 78 
78.5. So the median here is 78.5. But the median is falling in between these two values. So look what I've done now. I split my data set into two equal parts. This side has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine values on this side of the data of the uh, median. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine values on the other side. So here's your lower half of the data. Here's your upper half of the data. To find Q1, we're finding the median of the lower half. Well, this is nice because we have nine values. Nine is an odd number. That means they're the natural middle here. So we do nine divided by two. So to find Q1, nine divided by two, and it's equal to four and a half. And remember, we have an odd number. We always round up. So we're looking at the fifth observation. So one, two, three, four, and there's your median of the upper half. And there should be the same amount of numbers on both sides of this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So 62 is going to be Q1. And then the last one, to find the median of the lower half of the data, again, we just did Q1 and got that. So let's do Q3. Q3 is 9 divided by 2 because there's 9 on this side. Again, we get 4.5. This will be the fifth value again. So we're going to do the fifth value on the other side of the median. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it looks like Q3 is equal to 90. And this right here is what we call the five number summary for this data set. And it gives you the position. It gives you the position of the data values. And we're going to look at this in terms of a box and whisker plot. So a box and whisker plot looks like this. So we start with the scale. And in our scale, what we're going to do is we're going to extend the whiskers from the box out to the min and the max values. So our box is made from the values of Q1, which is 62, to Q3, which is 90. And this box represents a value that we call the IQR. This is what we call our IQR. And this is the middle 50% of the data. Because it's made from Q1 to Q3. And remember, in the middle is the median of this. So the median sits in the middle, right here at 78.5. On this side of that box is 25% of the data. And on this side of the box is 25% of the data. Together, it measures what we call the IQR, the interquartile range. So this is what we call our interquartile range. And again, it tells us the, about the middle 50% of the data. We extend whiskers to the min value and to the max value. And we look at this from the min to Q1 is 25% of the data. From Q1 to the median is 25% of the data. From the median to Q3 is 25% of the data. And then from the max, from the Q3 to the max is also 25% of the data. So this is what the box plot is showing us. It's telling us the position of each one. It's telling us the position of the values and how much data sits within each value.